Yeah, he he's. What's up, everybody? This is the Poker Coaching Study Session. And today we're going to be looking at uh, the hand history from uh, Peter. Peter, you played this uh, $30 tournament on GG and you took first place. Yeah, this was a uh, delicious Friday night action tournament. Amazing. 150 runners only. But yeah. So Very good. All right, let's see how you do it. All right. So... This is a PKO? No. Nope. I think no. It's normal. This is the dirty 30. The dirty 30. Hey, Pete, do you want to filter for hands you VPI pipped or do you want to look at them all? It's up to you. Sure, we can do that. Uh, is that an option? Uh, where is that? It's, you're going to have to close that. Close the replayer. Go on yeah, your you gotta, Yep. You can filter and... it in your tracker. Just. Yeah. Tag VPIP. Filter for VPIP. There's a filter. Yeah. And details. VPIP. Isn't it? Action? Yeah, you go to action and opportunities. At the bottom, Peter? Action. On the left. The left. Yeah. You see where it says game detail, yeah. hand detail, hand value? Yeah. Now, if you go to pre flop, this, uh, voluntary put money in pot, you click that at it, the very top. Page. The first one. Click the first one. Yep. There you go. Now you say add to filter and it should work for you. Okay. One tournament? Yeah. So I guess you just open the tournament. What's this at the top? How it's like, uh, this is interesting how you have it broken into days. Just double, double click double that. Click, double It'll click. open it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Now you can select yeah, all your hands. interesting calendar balance also. Curious about yeah, this. I, yeah, I haven't seen that. Um, Me neither. Pete, teach us how you... In, in, the, in the report uh, tab, you can select calendar. Ah, yeah. okay. calendar. Got it. All right. All right. So this so is that, the last that's... hand. So, so right. yeah, you just have to scroll to the bottom and then do the reverse. All right, so we start with the seven deuce, I guess. Seven deuce. Always that's loose. B. Maybe you could just select time and put them uh, on, on the right order. It's going to be easier, I think. Yeah, I if, think you could, if you go back to... Uh, go back to your tracker. tracker. Go back to the tracker. Okay, close this. Yep. yep. And just click the column date or time. It's going to be the right order, guys. It's just in reverse. Yeah, but date. Yeah. Like you they, can flip it. You can flip it if we're if we like it, scrolling down instead of up. No, no, don't change that. No, 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 no. Up at the yeah. top, up at the top of the list of hands. It, exactly. It says date. Date. Yep. date. Okay. You have date. There. Click there. Yeah. One person okay. can explain it. There we go. Are we good to go? Yep. Hey, okay. look, seven deuce. Now we get to scroll down though. All right. Amazing. I know. <laughs> what a thing this technology. The seven deuce is loose and we defend. It's suited. Lines deep. Oh. It's it's fine. Check raise. Nice. You could call this too, I think, this deep, but I like raising. No, 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 no. So then seven deuce. Your wizard. Probably at the hem. Is there seven dudes? Oh. I'm going to need you to reverse that na 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 if it ever calls. Uh, here it is. Press on it, Pete. Press on it. Press on the seven. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Just press on, on the yellow. Yep. There we go. Check. So it's primarily calling. Hey, Louie, can I get a reverse na 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 real quick? No, because Pete, you just used the wrong sizing. It was raised and big blinds. Here, okay. I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you, Louie. Reverse. Nee, 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 no, 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 
Jesus. Uh, GG. What is the cue for next hand? Uh, it should be the four. Uh, the the yeah. Uh, so king eight. We get it through. Six. Let's defend. Up the king. Is this a defend? If it's to lose this deep. Ah, oh, king six is a call. This is the king six here. A to bigs. King six. Oops. Uh, ours. Uh, was it not? It's sure? the wrong king six. Uh, that's, it's that's the wrong king six. Oh. <laughs> Next king six. Oh, uh, yeah. It is mostly a call, sometimes a three bet. Okay. Yeah, you never fold king six. Okay. Not here. Get here with our king six. Face a bet. Uh, and we have one of our worst kings. I like so calling. I calling him. <laughs> Yeah, this deep, I like the yeah. one. And it goes check, check, which means we get to have a large bet on the river. No, I think so it's good that small. I'm going to bet six with a king and four with a jack here. I disagree. I disagree. I think your best up pairs are betting big. Your worst top pairs are betting small. Your second pair are betting small. You don't have your best top pair because you Ooh. check raised flop. No, no, not always. You mix with that. No, no yeah, yeah. Small bet. River bets. Oh, I like your big bet, Pete. I like your big bet. Ninety-eight percent there with our side. Okay, okay. Fair bet. Like uh, I have one question. What was your sure. overall? It was your overall GTO score. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's we'll take a look afterwards. But it gets I like that. <laughs> oh, well, this one's going to be easy. A little squeeze. Get it? Good. All um, right. So, what is your sizing here typically? This is a bet big. Yeah, I'm betting big. Yeah, yeah. connected. If this was suited, I would be close to betting oh. hot here, but off suit, mm -hmm. I'm still going to bet a little smaller. Probably fifty to sixty percent. Yeah, I, I like half pot. I like a. Uh, can we there. can we go even bigger? Than yeah, yes, can. you can. You this, can. This Max, you definitely can. This is good size. So this is probably two. This is almost two thirds. Yeah, this is two thirds pot. I think this is fine. Get a call. And size up. Um, uh, you have I, the diamond. The diamond's relatively uh, a blank. I like going kind of large here, geometric to get it all in. Oh, on this flop, I, I would just like to see the report because sure. I'm wondering if that's if there's a lot of small betting too with the range. Let's take a peek. See, uh, it wants to bet 10.3, so we went 11.7. We're a little big. No, but can we see oh, sure. what the range is doing? So, yeah. Peter, if you went a little smaller and you bet half pot here, you'd have a half pot river shove. Uh, so, and then three, what is going on here? Just click small blind after, after You're the, kind of weird no, all in node. After, after the flop, after the flop, check small blind. Okay. There we go. So quite a variety of sizes. 50% wow. is uh, the 11.3 size, a little bit of the 16, and a little bit of the uh, 5. Primarily, oh, so you want bigger. Yeah. It's hard hard mixing. Yeah, your range, is, your range is never checking here, and it is primarily middle bet with a bit of big oh. and a bit of small. I, I know it was a range bet. That's why I thought there would be more small betting, though. That's the nature of the dangerous connectivity 
of the nine and the 10, and then the deuce, which is a complete blank for it. Yeah, if you think about a three bet pot, he's defending all the Broadway, so he's going to have to continue with a lot of a lot of hands. Yeah. So you get to charge him. So then we go eighty percent pot. Yeah, I think that's too big. No, I would. The turn actually, uh, I made a mistake. It shoves. Shoves. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I think that that size is kind of awkward. Sets up a really awkward river. So I guess it only makes sense. It's checking 99% yeah. of the time. Looking for a check here, right? But my, like it, it pushes my size to be all in because I bet so big. So it wants to check because the three and the two are such bricks that you want to let him start bluffing with the straight draws here that are that peeled one and now are stuck here with queen high or king high. So do we check call or check jam, I wonder? Uh, so uh, you gotta check jam, I think, if they bet big. Yeah. In this spot? Well, it's an SPR of one on the turn, I think. Slightly more, yeah. But yeah, about 1.25, I think, was. On the turn, if we take the check line, this is his response. He has to bet two thirds of the time and primarily the uh, small size, a little bit of all in. And when he bets the small size of 14, our response is to call with the aces. Or we have no range, range. We do at have all. a bit of all in here. No, it, but the it aces, does some jamming. Oh, whites yeah. are all in. Okay. I, I'm sorry. I thought yeah. they were out of range. All the other over pairs jam. All the tens jam. Lots of bluffs jam. Aces are the one that protect our calling range here because they are not afraid of anything that's going to river. So, yeah, I go a little big there and maybe lose a fish. So, uh, First mistake. Ding. Little free bet. Mm -hmm. We check this one. Uh, so if you he checks, three if free. he checks turn, I'm betting for value and buying river if I can. Hopefully, it is not a check. It is a bet small. Bet, yeah, bet, bet small. Bet. I think with the monotone board, I never would have found a medium bet. Mm -hmm. I think you got a call. That's draw. And we get there. This looks good. So here's a classic mistake that I make. I I go for thin value too much on rivers where I should probably check. Yeah, I think I'm checking here, honestly. Because I mean, I can get called by worse kings, but am I getting called by an eight on this board? Maybe if they have a heart, some other relevant blocker. Oh, I'll get called by an eight. Nice. Yeah, I don't think this is bad. Okay. I do tend to over thin value bed rivers. I mean, you got your best king X here. He didn't play it like he has a jack. It's a good bet. I think it's okay. a good bet. Raise uh, short, but lots of big stacks behind. No, you know, no, man, to, to stop raising under the gun, guys. It's a, it's a horrible play. No, it ain't. I didn't. We just okay. Lied. Romero, you're right. Romero's a fucking retard. I can't believe he would ever say something like that. Stop, stop trying to bluff under the gun, guys. With shit hands. No, no one trust, was trust me. Anyway. Yeah, no, trust, no one trust me. Saying. Chris, yeah. if you'll listen for two seconds, man. Yes, sir. No one was advocating for a bluff raise here. That's I just heard no, uh, raise. I just I, heard no, raise. not this hand, but he said never bluff under the gun. I mean, I had guys oh. I, I was open, like <laughs> no one suited under the gun. I'm definitely three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you bet this is a great bluff raise. I know Throw that's why. Up. That's what. That's why I was gotcha. saying we got to. <laughs> Whoops. Gotcha. <laughs> Throw it a little C bet on the top. I wonder if in GTLF oh, falls away. Doesn't show. 
See if it folds in GTO. The ace nine. It might. I, I wouldn't be surprised. No. I think no, it's, it's going to close. It, it's going to flat. It will, hundred okay. yeah, percent. Yeah. What's the uh, gonna, what's the worst? It's going to flat. Uh, ace jack, ace ten, and ace nine here. Okay. And probably fold ace eight. Yeah, but part of it too about. is this guy's the only guy at 20. Everyone else is like at 50 to 80, right? So I want to look that up. Double barrel and get it through. What's the depth? 60. The guy who opened had 20, but everyone else has 50. We'll call it 60 then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I think you're right. I think it's going to be ace eights the fold. That's what I thought. But well, ace eight by three bet as a bluff or eight seven. One of those is going to three bet as a bluff. Um, so we get a limper. Yeah. Ace nine and ace, ace eight's a mix, mix fold. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well done. Limp to raise. You take a call, and we you go know, three ways. This is I'm all right. Annoyed, I, I'm annoyed. No. You're annoyed? Yeah, I'm calling, but I'm annoyed. By the unranged limper? <clears throat> we get a pretty dry flop, and the limper decides this is the time he wants to strike. Just you just let this go. He, so, he wins. Yeah. No, no big deal. So like I would have three bet this pre versus like um the the cutoff open. That's why I'm annoyed. And now I gotta just call and play out of position to two people, and it really sucks. I would have three bet at two. Okay. Ten nine's almost always a three bet for some reason on all the charts. I don't know why it picks that hand, but it mixes every every ten nine at every stack depth for some reason. Cool. Little spicy I like, here. I, I like this. This is okay. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's it is a bit wide, but I think it's fine. At our stack depth, it's okay, but with a couple of shorter players behind, it's maybe not so good. Yeah, that's fair. And I'll we get fun. three bets, and we just give it up. Mm. Too big a sizing. Raise, get called. Oh yeah. Well, pretty good. Order. Oh, a small board. bet. Yeah. I like that one he's big blind bet here. He's uh, only got sixteen. Mm. Yeah, you can check a delayed C bet, or you can bet and I guess run it if he just uh, raises. Pair board, board. range bet. Paired board. Oh. Paired board. Yeah, but the sixes is, are okay for him. That's a key oh. card for the big blind. Paired so board. we're gonna have some Ch checks. No? Just for just for information, I checked pre flop academy <laughs> on the ace nine suited hand. And that's still a call with only 20 big blind stacks. Yeah. I won. Okay. But yeah. So on the flop, Solver wants to check your <clears throat> bet Whoops. micro. Yeah. So how did you're an aggressive player? I'm gonna check to that more often than bet and play turns and rivers, but um find the right sizing and he yeah. calls. We get a jack. Oh, the sorry, turn. Sorry. I think I'm barrel. Polarized. says, see that small. But we choose, we change from the micro to the small sizing. Right. Yeah. It's still a board where he has a lot of sixes here. And we've kept them really wide by only betting one big blind. So we still get to see that small, which we do. And he folds. We take it down. Ding. Okay. Seems good. Wapa gutty. I like Rainbow a big board. bet here. See, with this hand, I, I, I prefer bet small. You think? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I think it's a big so bet. We go 40%. What do you do with pocket jacks here? You bet small? Well, yeah, uh, we're yeah. probably splitting our range. That's it. So, I, so I'll give you an exploit against me right now. Everyone tune in because this is what I do. This is a default strategy that I tend to have. If I have two cards below me against the big blind, I check Jack's 
and tens here to allow him to bet nines and sixes and queens and I'll be ahead of two thirds of his turn range. Yeah, that's very good. If I have pocket sevens here, I'm going to bet to try and get uh, to try and represent the nine and the queen and put the maximum amount of pressure on a six. Makes sense. Good strategy. Yeah, I like the structuredness to it. Uh oh, I don't like this. Yeah, it's not very good. You check back. Mm, I'd have led your ass. Oh, <laughs> how about this? How do you like the lead on me now, baby? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not, oh, no. I'm not I'm knocking that turn or river, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> man, Pete, this is a, this is spicy. I, oh, I, uh, I think it's Pete. good, man. I think it's good. I love the Phoenix Jam on the river. Max Jam, max value. Let's go. Oh, this scam. Under straight. Scam. Let's go. Yeah. Nice scam on the river for everybody. <laughs> I think it was a good hand. I think the guy was happy to get his stand, but then. <laughs> you should have led turn, right? So the flop we bet. Yeah. Uh, the turn, big blind is supposed to check, even though it's a six. Right. Yep. Uh, press big on man. check. 20% bets, right? Press on check, Pete. Big blind check. Yep. Press on it. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like this. Just no, press. Just press, press yeah. Press, press the big blind check. Won't let yeah. you. There's, there's, there's nothing to do. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's a study the spot. Sure. We can take a look at his range here if you want. Okay, because I thought when you pressed on it, it gives you all the, the, the range information. Well, I think he has 100% checks on the turn is the problem. So there he are actually pop-ups that you can get. Uh, I'll show you when we go back to it. I think yeah, he, has, he I think he has a leading range with the six. Quite significantly, I think. Okay. That's us. Sim. He has a ton of leads. Kenneth Keppel would have got me here with a lead on the turn. 90 what? Yeah. He's only checking 7% of the time on this turn. Makes sense. This, the bottom card that bears, it's a key card for him. Yep. So it puts a lot of pressure on us. But when it goes, check, check. So when it goes, check, check, he's capped as hell. Yeah. And then River's the scam. And I... I think with his his holding, he should have led the turn. Yeah. Seven, eight. Yeah. Like, well, it's leading 97% of range, right? It's probably leading yeah. everything except the worst queens or the worst nines. Ooh, threes from early position. A little spicy for me. But we get three bet and fold, which is not something you normally do. But I think I, I fold, I don't open threes here. I think that's probably why I folded because I don't normally open threes. Oh, was there a table reason why you was a lot of a lot of things getting through? Um, generally, I, I ran pretty well in this tournament. Uh, so ace 10, we go for a three bet against early position. Not great, but that's the low jack. That's middle. So, uh, why did you go? Did you go 4x? Nope. He oh, went 2.5. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. So he stuffs the turkey and we give it up. But that's why you three bet it and fold it. Okay, King Seven, get a couple of crawlers. Mono toe and flop. I flats with seven bigs. I guess it's fine. Wow, I'm so, never betting this flop for what it's worth. If you're gonna bet, you can't bet like a one big blind. You need to generate fold equity. So I size up a little bit here. These are probably spots I missed. Get it through. 
Yeah, when you're in position, you can take a lot of shots in multi-way pots. There is also like this, I, the dynamic of I've got a big stack here, he's got a medium stack, and this guy's got a little stack. So this guy's afraid of this guy just check, check jamming a lot, right? So he folds, and then this guy just doesn't have anything and gets up. Yeah, that makes sense. Bit of a situation. Oops. Situational one there. King 10 of spades. We'll open. Goes through. Mm -hmm. uh, church. Oh, we get given a gift. Amen. More chips. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Preach it, Dooley. Jacks. And we raise. And we get this nice connected rainbow flop. Lots of draws and opportunities to call big bets. Big bet, yeah, indeed. Yeah, I like that. They could even go six, I think. Yeah, maybe. Five's good. Should find those jacks. Look at the wizard. What does the wizard say about the size? Like pot, maybe. I saw it. I think it's up the end up top. Yeah. You exactly. probably want to go big. No, it's not the same board. So we have a little nine hour board. Yeah. Other page, maybe? Jacks, no, go jacks, no, no plot. Wow. Is there another jack here? Hmm. We're lost. Go back one page. Voting. You can also sort by hands and then go back to have them in order if you want. Yeah, but It'll no, be... it's easier to follow. See where it says cards. Yeah, but you can always go back, right? Can you? I think like, I don't know for sure. I'm pretty sure you can. We saw the seven loons, right? No. Pocket checks, pocket checks. Yeah. Nine nine board. I can barely see them. What was that? <laughs> Bonjour now. Must have missed the pocket jack somewhere. Yeah. Let's see if we can sort it by. Uh, no, it doesn't look like you can sort by cards. Okay, so go back to the last hand we know exists. The office can be done. In the top left, you have a filter. Can you fill by card? No. Nah. Wait. What are you trying to say, Saeed? So, <laughs> what page are you on? It looks like you're on page five. Shouldn't you be around page one or two? Yeah, it should be on one or two, right? That's my thought. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, Peter. It's thinking rose, I think. What page are you on? Like, I, it looks froze to me, frozen to me. <clears throat> Pocket king, this king. Now it says 100. So is this page one? This is. There's 100 hands. So if it's well, page it's 100 one, hands per page. Right. Right. And so. Oh, okay. Just so go to the end of the report and then work backwards here and try and find those jacks. 
What's this Jax here, uh, big line? Um, yeah. the, the GTL Wizard filter is filtered for all hands. Is there a filter where you can, oh. in that way, you could change? Yes, you, you can select uh, Jack Jack. That's what I thought. Now, up top, there's a filter in analyzed hands. See if it'll uh, let you filter for BPIP. Uh, so that is Jack Jack. So the bottom one. The bottom one. Yep. So on the flop, it is betting six. And what size did uh, we choose? We no, chose it's five, three, four. Yeah, you, you, you went six and it bets eight. Oh, it bets eight. It pots it. Yeah. LP says six. I thought maybe pot. But six for pot, I mean, times eight, eight or pot's not bad, right? Six, eight. Turn we go 12. See there, I think you want to check back. And uh yeah, our bet's a mistake. What's it want to do? Uh well he checks and we should be betting smaller. We should size down on the connected board or check. We yeah, do not get the, the turn, right? He brings up the so. Everything yeah. comes in. Yeah. yeah. So He's going to have two river. pairs and shit. Like. So he stuffs it on us, which is oh. okay, because he has a lot well, of combo draws here. Yeah, you got to call now. You only you only need twenty percent equity. I get it, but I'm still folding. They just don't bluff there. And we catch him with the bluff. He bluffed. <laughs> well, I mean, he turned a marginal made hand into a bluff, right? Yeah. I don't think Seems so. Maybe he thinks bad. Good for value. Maybe it was. Yeah, I mean, this is like. If this is a bluff, it's bad. If he thinks that you're just capped enough where he can get value, okay. Like, he has a pair gut shot with the eight. I can accept five. that explanation better than this being a bluff. I, I, know, just don't I think know he has a value in because he has a, a pair and a gut shot, and it probably doesn't put you on anything good. Well, yeah, I don't know. Good. I could agree with the value. Blind. Like, I have a lot of eights still. But, I can mean, it's like, yeah. is this an all-in 72 big blind pot? value type of spot oh, let's see yeah. what he's supposed to be doing okay let's go and study this and the depth because it is blind versus blind so it's wide ranges it is so he just decides he's had enough of me bullying him and <laughs> clearly <laughs> Uh, so check that, and he calls, earn, he checks, and we bet. We don't really have this bet sizing. We should be betting five when we bet. And his response with the 10 7 he had. Your call. 10 7 off is to call. So he's jamming two pairs quite a bit. But what size what sizing did you make it? So His we bluff. went uh 12. Or queen 10, Jack 10, you block. Uh Queen 9. Like A6, King 6 if they're fine. See nine. what he does with a buff and some 6x. See what he does with a bet 10. It's not in range. We don't bet 10. We bet fiber check is our strategy. I know, but what you did in game is bet 12. Yeah. So the only thing, like it's a 1% combo, we either have 9, 6, or 4, 2, or 3, 2. His response isn't going to be great against that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like we, we don't have any. You got real kings. Value. 
Kings. We have Kings and Aces a bit. And Ace Deuce, King Deuce, like our our, our it's too too fringe a strategy. Right? Okay. Perfect. But when we do take uh, that and pretend we have kings, his response is attack oh. with an eight because he has lots of eights still. But 10 so seven is so, value. Ten, seven, uh, so pure cold. Yeah, he's, yeah. Value he's supposed to be value heavy here, right? Well, he just has enough eights in range that he just gets the pilot in with the straight. And everything else is a marginal made hand. Yeah. You would have got me. Okay. I'll get with the SBRs. <laughs> right, so we get some more <laughs> chips with that Jack Jack. Oh man, that guy didn't think I had bluffs. <laughs> I mean, I don't think people bluff it up there. That's why I just fold. Jack, get it through. Blind versus blind, 87 suited. Flop a flesh draw, eight high. He check, he checks. He's on the turn. He should never have an ace here. So we just bet big. I mean, bet the spot. flop. Sorry? Why don't you bet the flop? Um, limp pot, right? Yeah, limp pot. I can probably check raise the flop. Yeah. Right? I mean, I don't like check raising unless I have an overcard, but I would have just led. Um, yeah, maybe my hand's too strong to lead here. Not entirely sure. But I'll see if we see 87 of clubs anywhere. Should be right next to some jacks. I know what you could probably do as well when we look at a hand. What happens when you click a box to the left? That might be like a way to find where we last looked. See all those that boxes is... on the far left? Yeah, that's a great idea. Okay. Yeah. I'm surprised how hard it is to find where we left off. Try, try to filter for the hand again. And then mark it and then go back out. Or is this it? So the hand's at the bottom, right? Jack is yep. nine. Here it's yeah, right. That looks like it. Yeah. This is 87 of clubs. This is the hand here. So ace turns, we bet, it takes out. So the flop is it mostly checks, right? It uh, leads a bit, mostly checks. Okay. All right. Go up our lizard. Can check raise it. Can we check raise it? Sure. Uh, oh, okay, a little bit risky here with uh, one, two, three guys who can re jam squeeze us. Yeah, you just fold against a 3x open, which is maybe going to be a little more of the value component. I call fold, I don't care. You're deep. Wow, well. <laughs> Six to one, and he's still deep stacked. Multi way, I call I... one, but you would want a club and ideally to call. Yeah, multi yeah. way, I would fold. I think if I had the four in this situation, if I had the Kenneth Keppel effect with the four of clubs and the four of spades, I would call. Yeah, right. but I should fold this. I don't heads know, up, I, I would I like calling it. because you're kind of deep, and if you hit the magic four here, it could go check, 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 and you could win, and you could hit the four at any point as well. Check. Oh, turn it into a block. Not good. But we get it. I see. 
It's good when a lot of people, if you know, like I play against a lot of people in ACR that yeah. has that have that one C bet give up. Like they stab every flop and then check turns if they don't have nothing. And it's it's great to just bet against that. Yeah, you shouldn't be there from the flop. That's what it says. Yeah. Right. Well, it, it was multi way, so it doesn't yeah. solve it. But yeah. Heads up, I'm sure it's a call though. But yeah. you had someone left to act behind you, so it's certainly not at all. Yeah. Queen defended, walk a wet board, rainbow. Uh, this guy's deep. I'm going to bet four here a lot. At least. Did he check here? <clears throat> Ooh, get check raised. Uh, I think I'm probably going to three bet. I would call because they don't check race bluff enough either. So I'm, I'm just calling a lot, honestly, in position. I think with this hand, I want to raise before a bad card comes for me. I think I'm still ahead a lot, but it's very dangerous. I call. We check raise checks. Yeah, but I, I, I got too much value. I'm not betting. You got a blast here. Well, the board paired. I don't know that you get the blast. 60% pot for sure. You, you, you got a no. strong hand. Look, look, check raise with many jackets. Louis, look at the effective stack size. I'm yeah. betting my jacks and my draws. I'm, I want to get in here. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with Louis lines. because they don't check raise a lot of jack X is the only thing. The SPR is a little bit over one to one. It's like so one point two to one or something like that. I was so the solver is here. checking fifty percent, betting um, five twenty nine percent, and betting eight seventeen percent. It is never going big. Yeah, but I'm trying to stack a queen here. Uh, you bet small. Yeah. Yeah, Louis, small anyway. Louis, you can check behind and still stack a queen. That's what I'm saying. The SPR yeah. is so small you can afford to check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. need to. Need to that smaller for sure i go i and i do use a bigger sizing here i use one third pot that seems fine one third and do it's we go SPR. for it on the river i mean at this point yeah I yeah think you do i guess you just i'm just all in man you know, have some streets, but so oliver says never stuff the river oh good what does it want to does it want to bet though it, nope. It, it, want, it wants to check behind. Yep. Solver says it's a two street hand. But we stuff the turkey and we get a call from Queen 10. And Merry we Christmas. have more chips. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And raise from the button. Um, I might be three betting this uh, a little less, right? Against 25 bigs. He's a little yeah, deeper. deeper. I'm going to three bet it a little more. For sure. But we find a check raise on the flop. Not so sure about this. Looks spicy. Hmm. But we're well represented in our range with cards between them. But it's going to mix some low frequencies with this combo, I think. Flop. It is primarily a full. Super low frequency. Yeah, we find an extremely low frequency line here that's just not really well represented. Put check mark in so you don't lose your space. Well, we have the check mark on the other one, so we know to go up from there. Okay. Um, pocket fives. Looks like a big blind defense. Oh, it's a jam. Are you guys defending 11 big blinds out of your 170 big blinds here? Yes. Yep. yep. You just lose. Change my answer. <laughs> All right. 
another big blind defense spot. I don't know if our, our stack size is relevant. It's just the math against the 11 big blinds stuff. Right. So we're, we're kind of like, you know, still middle stages of the tournament, but you can see like we've been on the warpath stacking people. And we are the chip leader here pretty big time. You didn't have the ace of spades, did you? No, we have the ace of clubs. We just give it up. Uh, the ten read at us. He put it in his face. Seems good. You guys like this? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. If, if it's not right, it's close. I would just call honestly. That's the right answer. Uh, what Joey said. If it's if it's not, it's very close. Yeah, fifties close. Forty slam dunk. Uh, the low jack all in is 41%. It yeah, is fine to good. raise, call, or fold here with this combo, and they're all the same. Right. No, never fold. It's I was going to say fold seems a bit uh, nitty. Yeah. yeah, it has no folds. Your raise, your, you can call, three bet, or jam. We chose the aggressive line. We get snapped. Um, beat Ace King. Ace King. And the chip, uh, the chip disparity between us and everyone grows. As you can see, I've run pretty pure this tournament. Yeah, you're making their lives hard, Pete. It's hard to play with somebody who has that many chips. Standard defense, second pair, turn equity, and an ace. Of spades. Of spades. What do we want to do here against this 15 blind stack that leads three and a half bigs? I'm uh, I think the overriding component is your pair. So I don't think jamming is going to be as attractive as just calling. You don't get to fold. You got too much. Yeah. I think I like to call here. And he's probably going to shove the river. Yeah. And, and you know, that's fine. You can just fold. I'll give up jams. his bluffs. Most, well, a lot we'll of people give up his bluffs, I should say. Really flat. Some rejam stacks behind us. Maybe not the best move. Yeah, it's probably fine. Don't get it. So we just check through. Thinking of our friend Louis Philippe, who says, "What if a four comes?" Yeah. You need to Are you ever four? mixing in three bets with like pocket sevens, eights? Not like six to sevens, eights there. Do you ever three um, bet them, or you just always call? So the problem is that there's these guys with the rejam stacks behind us. Um, I am probably going to flat them pretty much all the time. So say they everyone had about 40. Yeah, you can start mixing in with sixes and sevens, I think. All right. Right? You don't want an eight or a nine against this guy that's blocking kind of the bottom towards the bottom of his range. So maybe a five, fives. Or sixes are better at 40. Give up. Open. Get three bets. Jam. Wow. Mm, versus small blind. Uh, man, you're kind of middle position. Very Probably close spot, I call. Yeah, it's close. I'll let this yeah. one go. It's close. I think it's close, but I'd probably fold it. If I was in later position, I would call. Well, but he gets there. Well, if you know you're going to hit every board, you can't fold. <laughs> yeah. So we continue to run pretty good in this tournament and continue our theme of eh, marginal spots. We get there. 
And we get another ace king in the blind. Give it a little squeeze, get called, flop an ace, good game. You got a thousand big blinds now? Uh, I think have, he's about 200. We have 200 big blinds, and we are the chip leader. Three bet? Yeah. Three bet. Jam, Three huh? Bet. That seems well, spicy. Is that good? His, his 25, right? Like, it's kind of the, the cusp. If he has 30, we can three bet small, but. Yeah, I mean, I just three bet seven. I mean, I mean that's using your stack now. We can just take a look. Just bully the hell out of them. Nine. I three bet fold. I don't care. If they're opening enough, if they got, you know, they're playing right. It is primarily a call with that hand. Low frequency. Oh, wow. Three bet, never a jam. So we're a little out of line here. But we are. Uh, but GTO Wizard, I don't think GTO Wizard takes into account the like the psychological pressure you're, you're able to put on because of your stack. <laughs> yeah, not so much. Okay, so against under the gun, we flat ace jack. Um, and we wind up in a mess of a four-way pot. We get this board. He leads. We just give up. And unfortunately, we would have. No. Deuce King two off in the no. small blind. Let's go. Oh, yeah. The, the, deuce, the deuce doesn't matter. Yeah, how do you like this guy with 15 bigs who decides to put one and a half more in with King Deuce off? Fish, mark that. Tag. Hashtag fish tag. Let's go Monday morning. You got a tag on him? Probably now. Yeah, you can uh, tag Ace Jack gets three bet jam. We're going to call off and flop aces and jacks. Good game, pocket sevens. Easy game. Now I understand uh, where all my luck is. That's a loose open. <laughs> Queen 10, yeah. Offsuit 10s, bottom of range. This is not a full frequency open, but because of the chip disparity, yeah, I'm going to expand my range a little. Yeah, and when you're running good, you can open your range too. Yeah. So two Broadway cards are going to be something we want to lead a lot. The two is very disconnected. This is probably going to be, oof, going to be a range bet against his calling range. I'm not sure, but I think this hand might be in the bluff, or I mean check. Uh, so this is queen ten. Lop. It is looking to check seventy percent of the time. It does have 30% leads here, and they're all small. Those numbers are for, are for the exact N. Huh? Yeah. OK. Yeah. Yeah. So our hand does lead here. I think I am going to find the lead. No, I check. Facing the small bet, our marginal made hand is definitely going to oh. continue. The small bets again. Board does not really change. They could probably still have to defend second pair here. Yeah, for the small bet, I I think I still call. I never so opened that hand, so. Third, we check. We check 99% of the time. Low jack bets, and we are supposed to call 81% of the time. We are starting to find some folds, though. So it also has a little bit of bluff raising. I mean, if he bets larger, it's an easy fold. Yeah, his size it's is just weird, right? The 30% the bet, 30% pot, I feel like I'd have to see another card for the 
Yeah, like he could just be barreling diamonds small here, right? So yeah. Probably. Peter, do you want to continue the hand history or you want to pick up uh, where we stop uh, on the next session? It's up to you. Uh, I can continue if everyone's still interested. Sweet. Okay. Uh, we find Ace King again and get donated to. Good game. And eight six from hijack. Look towards the bottom of our range here, get stuffed on, let it go. Here's nine. Go to position, get flatted, get three ways. Three five five. He should have some fives. He should not have any fives. And he didn't three bet shove, so I'm thinking this guy's got a real problem with his hand. He's gonna have a hard time defending. And sure enough, it goes check, check, check. Once this guy checks, we are green lighted. to have a nice big bet. And we get jammed on. So I guess he just has a lot of jack here. Maybe some yeah, probably should have bet the flop. Probably should have bet the flop. Just small, clean up, whatever. They're going to struggle on a pair of board. I mean, if the guy has a five, I'll let you know. And you got a shitty hand anyway, so. Yeah. On that texture, at least. So it doesn't solve it because it's multi-way. Uh, ace four, we open, we get flatted, double flatted, triple flatted, flop a gutter, out of position, check, 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 uh, turn, double flush draw board, don't block any of the flushes, we just get out. Ace queen. <coughs> Lop a gutter, no backdoor flush. Eight big blinds. Seems like a spot for one big blind. He bet and he folds. Two broadways for us is really good against the big blind range. It's up. Call. Uh, Connected, flush drawed, marginal made, deep stacked. I would check. get a check. Oh, get check raised and call. I'm not sure I like this. I mean, you got a call. I don't. I would check the flop. I'm not sure if it's good or not, but I would have checked the flop. Yeah. We do bet ace high and king high boards quite a bit. Uh, so it is checking 50% betting and it's betting small when we do. So that's okay. Uh, when he raises, our hand is almost a pure call. A little bit of re-raising, very spicy. Turn is the ace and it goes check, check. River is the... 10. He bets, and we should be folding river. Yeah, everything gets there. I oh, want clubs, too. Yeah. And he shows us a set of nines. So I feel like he probably shouldn't be betting river. What size did he bet? Did he block bet? He bet he blocked. I wonder if that's a thing. He bet four into eighteen, allowing us to call with two pairs and straights because we still have flushes here. So uh, 
Nine Deuce. We bet then take it down. Monotone board. He opened eight seven off. No, he was the big line. Oh. Uh, two. Big blind, two cards. Key cards for position, connected board. We turn equity with diamonds, but now we have ace high. I think I'm probably just going to check a lot here. And we get I probably, there. I probably would have barreled. And we stuff. The barrel? I think I would have. I mean, yeah. Just because it's that board's so good for our range. Trying to get the weaker pairs to start folding. It does barrel small 25% uh, of the time, so it's just fine. Majority check, though. Yeah. I think I'm barreling all my other diamonds, but the ace high diamond, I'm going to check. Makes sense. And it's pretty great. Like, they don't believe the back you hit the flush here when you check turn a lot of people. Yeah. Then on the river, to put it, we get today. We go all in. It is either six or all in, mixing both sizes pretty heavily. So six yeah. to get paid, eight to try and get all the chips. But I've struggled with not getting greedy enough, and uh, so. Tried to get greedy there and just got the pot. Yeah, I like it. Uh oh. Better be a blind defense. It okay. should have a lot he can call with. Later, Maxine. Okay, this is just a give up. All blind. Jams five, we isolate. Not sure I like this play. Yeah, I'm not loving it. Yeah, that's kind of giving up by a big I line. I would have folded. Well, he's going to be pretty wide here. We're okay. The problem is, like, if yeah. we call. Is this an FT? Like, uh, no. no. No, not yet. It's a slam dunk in a big blind, right? But small blind, I'm just letting it go. Yeah. This was a mistake. We flop. Yeah, it doesn't even show us, but yeah, I, I think this is pretty clearly a mistake that I made. Should you uh, isolate smaller? Let's say to 12 or 30? Mm, no, the guy's got 15 behind. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. I, yeah, I, I thought the other was. Sorry. Probably yeah. just should have folded and let this guy get away with it here. Uh, uh, but we're not done scamming people, so... <laughs> Uh, Let's go. Nice one. Nice one. Nope. Be sweet. Yeah, it's nice when you make a blunder and it pays off, anyways. Oh, no, I don't mean we didn't look. We don't have ranges to look at. It might not be a blunder. Don't be so positive. <coughs> about yeah. so this guy three bets us to six, so we're kind of priced in. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Looks like we're gonna get it in good. Oop. Oh, we have base. Oh. That one uh, the heater's over. The heater for Peter is over. It's going to be a cooler. Oh, we're getting three bet. Hope I don't call this off. Easy fold, yeah. And out of range, get it done. Big blind defense, ace nine against 17. Hi, Jack. Is I that call. Oh, he called too. I'm just calling. Yeah. I could squeeze here, but the problem is when he goes all in, I'm never in a good shape. So we just flop the ace, though. Keep everyone wide. It goes check, check, check. We bet small on the double flush draw board. Ace of Diamonds. Because we can always blast River here if a diamond completes. Oh, we get an ace. And we Went blast River. 
we have a ton of bluffs with both hearts and diamonds that missed. So that's why I go big, I think. Yeah, but do we have a ton of bluffs multi-way? The flop went check, check, check. So, yeah, when he fold, when the other guy, it's heads up on the river though. Yep. I understand that, but when we initially lead turn, um, we're multi-way. I just don't know. I don't know. I'm just asking. Like, I don't know that we have a lot of bluffs <laughs> here. I like forty uh, percent. Yeah, I like a smaller bet too because I don't really think we have a ton of bluffs. I think we have some bluffs, but we're value heavy. Okay. Be called by a queen or lesser pairs. We should still have some bluffs. For sure. Not as not as many as we would have if we were heads up on the turn. So doesn't that drive the bet sizing down? So if if you're bluffing. How big are you bluffing here into the 11 big blinds? I mean, I have half pot size bluffs. Okay. I have like 55% bet. I have bluffs at like 55% mm -hmm. and over and then big, bigger bluffs. Depends on how much value I also have. Like if I have the board locked up, if it's a really like locked up board for my range, then I can have smaller bluffs. I think, in my mind, and your top in value. Are you trying to get trying to jam to get paid by a, a Nick Days? <laughs> yeah, because he checks flop, checks turn, and checks river. Like I just don't think he has a better ace than me there ever, because he's he's gonna three bet his better aces pre flop. So I don't. I I think I am coolering a worse ace a lot there. But yeah, that's kind of why I don't I, I don't think I think he rarely has an ace there, period. So I, that's why I like a smaller bet. Mm -hmm. But I think be, because I have so many like I have bluffs with flush draws and I have so many flush draws there. Um, yeah, I get it. Yeah, because the this guy checked on the flop, too. So like he just doesn't have an ace here ever. So I think because he doesn't have an ace and he doesn't have an ace, my flush draws kind of get to go bananas. So I go bananas with aces there. Um, so here we get we get jammed and we call off with king queen suited. Oh, and we scam some with nines, just a flip. <clears throat> but run good looks like it's back. Uh, three bet with nine. Uh, I like bet. to see that here. You can see that small. Look at that. Three big blinds into 14 takes it down. Nice. I don't find uh, those uh, very small uh, bets. Well, that's a board we could bet range on after we three bet. Pocket nines. Let's take a look at the strategy. On the flop, it is checking one third. It is betting one and a half big blinds, 8%. We chose the size that's closer to 3.9, 55% of the time, which is the most approved strategy. I think on a board like this in a three bet pot, I'm going to bet the flop a lot like this. And I'm going to choose to polarize the turn if I want to bet here. Right on a two Broadway yeah. board. That would that would be my strategy. I think that's going to be a lot of what I do. But uh, Ace five. I can hear Louis frantically scribbling notes in the background. <laughs> Luckbox polarizes on turns. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, speaking of speaking of Luckbox. Okay. <laughs> we did a very suspicious three bet off of this, but we have to be respectful of this guy. So maybe it's real. Yeah. So I actually go smaller if I'm going to ISO there. Yeah. Go it's four five. big. I just do five. What about so if you he... trap, the, trap the small blind? Um, I don't no, think... do five with like ace king. Not ace, with king, kings. Jack, no, not with kings. 
Yeah, I don't think the Ascend wants to play multi-way. Like, in a bounty tournament, I think you can flat here. And, but... and the big blind's going to call often if we just flat. Yeah. That's true, that's true. And this guy decides to... Had enough of our micro three bet. Oh, what size did you use? I thought it was six. Standard I size. use six. He used three X. I I I think I agree with Ken. I might have gone like around five something. Yep. And I do that with but, my, my the range I want a three bet. I mean, on. It's not just really, strong. Yeah, what's what's really the difference though? Five or six. I think we're getting the same result from the cutoff. Yeah. I don't well, know. I, I can know. ISO because I can ISO a wider range, and when the button rejams, I still have raised folds. Right. Mm -hmm. well, we get three bets here. Micro three bet from the big blind here. I think we have to defend wider here because it's yeah, our gonna, Yeah, we have to defend. Yeah, I'm going to wreck his life. I'm calling. Yeah. So he undersized here like he should be going probably eight but he probably shouldn't be betting us three betting us very much at all why right? we're um we double cover him and yeah. we're starting to get a little later in the tournament yeah do you have i stack find a very you? nitty fold there do you have i don't think that's a fold I don't think his range doesn't change based on your stack size. He should be playing. He's the effective stack. He should be playing his 40 big blind range or whatever he was there. He should mm -hmm. find some, some uh, three bet bluffs versus the button. Yeah. He, yep. I think he's three betting probably what? 9%. Yeah. I have no idea I'll saying. look real quick. Cause I like to know these numbers in my head. Uh, big blind. What were you button? We were yeah. button. You definitely and, it, them. and you have to defend wider versus yeah, his three bets are eleven percent yeah. all in six percent. So I mean he should be raising there quite a bit. Yeah, here is a fundamental range construction mistake. It is for sure a call. Yeah. Losing 0.79 EV to not defend here against. And that's you just keep the... in your mind. If you think he's fishy and only doing that with like his very strongest hands, and you can just start folding when you make a marginal flop. And if he bets big, you can fold. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah. What kind of flop in the world? Yeah. And... Sorry. Like if you what got a read on him, like he's only doing this with tens plus ace king, ace queen, whatever. Then, no. And you know. also look, his his race size is smaller than the race size recommended for the. Sure, sure. Which could be yeah, which could be strength or weakness. Either way, I mean, yeah. Show the stats on him. Yeah, he could be doing that with a with a crappy hand. So he's on. Well, it's only twenty hands. Was it twenty hands or thirty eight hands? Thirty seven hands. That's not enough. Only only twenty hands against this guy. Okay, oh, so that's I was look, I was looking at the wrong HUD. Yeah. So that's not enough. Hands. So he's still. Where's the three bet at? Zero. He has no three bets in 20 hands right. and only 15% VPIP, but again, small sample size. So. Right. So we can't tell much. Yeah. So still, it's under defend. You should need to defend now. I think you need to defend a wider versus, because uh, he's going to be three betting wider versus your, your range, you know, versus cut up and button. Yeah. So uh, second real blunder there, right? That should have been a clear defend. Even 35 uh, ones deep. All right. So button raises. This guy goes all in. King Jack. We are in a pickle. Is this a four bet here against this weird arrangement? Oh. Right? Is King Jack if if we take this guy out of the equation, is King Jack a three bet against this guy? For sure, versus the button, it is from the big line versus the button. King Jack off. Well, not for sure. Um, I would three say it is a three bet versus the button, just from the big line, though. I would I squeeze I a, if I was suited yeah. here. I might squeeze, yeah. but I like three bet things. It. <laughs> yeah. Or you could even just. It might not like be it. in this. Might not be in the solver, but you could click it back. 
Yeah, I, I don't think like it, it is in the solver. Why either. in the hell would you click it back here? You're just gonna yeah, make your life miserable. I don't even love calling to be honest. I think if you click it back, you can fold it yourself done. Do sure. You so you just you just give away but, half your chips in the process. No, you give away four big blinds. And it just gets checked all the way around. There's no need for us to bluff on the flop because we can't bluff the all in. Mm. So we just take our king high to showdown and lose to threes, but all of us lose to fives. So a bit of a weird spot that I wasn't sure if I should have folded this spot pre-flop. I mean, I would think I, I would. Fold. <laughs> I, I like folding this folded. pre-flop. I mean, you got to really discount the, you got to completely discount villain 10 here. And if you're late, like, I don't know, man, you could be making a big mistake here. <laughs> Overplaying here for um, whatever the small blind has. But I don't know. I've looked up spots like this before. And um, I've, I've been in camp over aggress here plenty of times. And <laughs> HRC doesn't like it usually. I misread the shove stack size. That's why. I thought mm -hmm. it was five big blinds. Two and four. Okay. So we choose the flat versus under the gun one. Mm -hmm. I could see folding here being a, fair, a fine play. And it goes three ways. On a jack high flop, he bets. And we oh, float. I don't call this. No, <laughs> big blinds in the hand, so. Yeah, you are, you're wide here for sure. Yeah. Get there, and this guy checks now. I so, see zero, uh, I, zero reason to bet here. Check, yeah. bet, I'll bet when he checks to try to buy river. <laughs> no, we need a hard to bet. But check small. behind. Check behind. So we find the check on the turn, which is probably okay. Four pairs, and he checks again. Now we got to get some get some value. Yeah, value well, bet small. Hold on, he's gonna check a lot of like he's his ace ten king ten queen ten. So like, yep. what are you trying to get value from? All his tens five, are better. Like, all the tens you open are six. better than yours. Five x pocket six pocket seven pocket eight. Never betting pocket this. Nine. Yep. Can he call us with ace king ace queen? With with uh, without a heart, he's got all. Like I said, the only tens he's got ba. Look at me, I'm such a greedy animal. I decide to yeah. go for the bet. I think that, that I like to bet, but I think that sizing might be too big. How much did you go for? It looks like he went for like seventy percent. I would go a bit more Eight. than alpha. So yeah, I would. 60%. I'd be around fit. Eight out of twelve, so seventy-five percent. Well, it's seven point nine into twelve point one five. It's it's less than seventy-five, but yeah, it's it's less than two thirds. I'm still trying to figure out what you're trying to get value from. Uh, worse than a five. He, tell me what six, worse tens he has. Hold on, he's under six, the gun. Pocket seven, uh, ten eight. Hold on, LP. He's ten, under eight, the gun. Ten, what ten, worse tens does he have? Ten eight. But but Ken, does he check? the river with a 10 after the turn goes check check i think so no i i think he goes for small value it's, we should look at his range uh, i think this is way too so thin show. you got pocket nine she got pocket eight she got ace yeah. five you got complete ace king bluff yeah. catching yeah. i mean there's there's hands he can you can get value from it's not crazy so ace five c bet multi way you think <clears throat> i don't know some people some people just randomly are not randomly, but I mean, they'll just range C bet sometimes. I, I mean, mean I would say thing. it's probably not, it's not full frequency, I would think. Well, you could certainly have ace five of spades and do that too. Put right? it like, in the like machine. This stuff, you can have a five. I like this play. Put it in the machine. <clears throat> I think it's, oh, it's you want Ken to crazy. take a look at that one? Problem was, it was multi way, so we're not going to get a solve on oh, it. Okay. Right? Was it? Yeah. Well, yeah, treat the range is just as head. Head. well. I mean, you can treat it as heads up ranges, right? Like the guy folds on the uh, flop. It's not going to be too crazy. The only yeah. thing that you have to kind of discount is like villain five just over over betting. Oh uh, yeah, look at under the gun versus a hijack. And I yeah. I think after it goes check check on the turn, any bigger ten is supposed to go for small value. 
I just think it's you, too thin. Uh, Ace 10, King 10, fine, but I just think 10 nine's too thin, honestly. Okay. Facing two checks is the th is the, I think the the trigger there. But I know that I have C bets a is ten, is C, the ten X C bets are gonna check turn check river probably, right? Mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna run into 10 king there a lot, right? Yeah. But I think I'm still gonna get called by pocket sixes and pocket sevens and maybe and, ace hey. king and ace queen. We should look at it. Okay. I like your bet, Peter. I like it as well. We'll, yeah. uh, we'll take a look at well, maybe we'll run that one out the, out of the I, the review. Yeah, I like to bet. I just the only thing I'm questioning is whether it should have been that big or a little smaller. Um, four, five, jack, ten, river. Okay. I made a note for us, Ken. Um, here we go. I'm I'm going to wager on it. Against the, against the field. Wager. Ken's got some confidence, boys. He might it's be too, right. It's too thin. Okay. Oh, so maybe Monto. it is, but uh, I like it. What do we do when we turn the nuts here? Did it go check, check? Check, check the on action. the flop. First off, I like betting one big line on the flop. Can you? No, you can't. Okay. No, like we are the uh, we're the small here. We're small blind, so we I, we check everything on that board. I like, honestly, if you check if you check the flop, I kind of like checking the turn here too. We go for one. I get it. I don't hate this either. Oh. I just uh, I don't see a I don't see a path to victory here very much. How are we? Maybe get the extra. Yeah, that, that's the problem, right? How are you going to get paid? <laughs> I have to hope that he has a five. I mean, if he's got a Go queen somehow, you get it. You get everything because it's just, I mean, maybe he gets stubborn and bluff catches you with an ace. Or I something. think I like going all in here. He calls us with jacks. Yeah, look at that. All right. We're back. <laughs> chipped up. That I think was he, fortunate. I think he's supposed to bet like one, one and a half big blinds on that flop. Yeah, maybe. Monotone and Queen high flop, maybe. Poker coach spamming the fuck out of me. I'm done with that. <laughs> Three emails a fucking day now. All of a sudden. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> As they say, fish on the line. It's good. Uh, we raise these pocket fours. We get jammed. Get out. It's good. Line defense. We ooh, a side board. You should probably start folding our worst nines. Uh, nine ten off. Well, if he's betting range, I don't, I don't know if we get to fold nines yet. Yeah. Back door straight. Yeah. Yes. We're big blind. Yeah, no, uh, we can't fold. Can't fold a pair in a big blind. Gets the side fold. Oh, he's kind of short, but still, yeah. I don't think we get to fold. <laughs> okay. What about now? Oh, check check. Thank goodness. We improve. Uh oh. Well, not that well, much. Don't be the queen. <laughs> yeah. But guess what? I'm getting itchy. I can feel it. The spades came in. One big I blind. Wanna, I want to turn this into a bluff so badly. I bet one big blind or check. Bluff catch. Okay. Thank goodness I checked. And yeah, we I just think, cooler the nine. I think this is a check call against. Um, See, that's how you get thin value. You bet one big blind and he calls you with his nine. <laughs> Hindsight is twenty twenty. Yeah. Oh, I said one big blind before I saw the river. You did, yeah. you did. You did. What's the solve? What's the solve? Where is our nine ten off? Might be on the next page. Nine, 
10 off. Yeah, but there's no flop there. Yeah. And you you were in the big blind, I think. Oh, yeah. So that's a good way, too. You can just scroll and look for position. Hmm. Nine, ten off. Ty Jack. Oh, it's not us. That leads a popular hand for us today. Hi, Andy. Hey, Andy. Hey, man. Take care, Andy. Did you stop checking hands we've looked at to for our finder? Or, I think or, it unchecks them, actually. Uh, There's one. I assume okay. small blind. Is that the same? Nine, ten. No, no, the board's not right. Seven, four. Because it was paired ace and. Yeah. I'm all. I'm all the way at the top of the page here. We don't have it on this page either. I'm just looking at big blinds and then the hand. Oh, that's the end of the. That's the last yeah, that's page. The end of the tournament, so it's, we, we missed, missed it. One man. Come um, on. go back to and sort hands. In the filter, okay. like we did before, that because that should bring up only the ten nines. Nine. Nine off. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, a lot of nine ten off. Big blind. Big blind one is the one we're looking for. Pure check. River, pure check. Yeah, it's okay. So see if I can tag that one and then clear and see if we'll get there. Oh, what's the X mean? Do you X out? Does that clear? Am I clear everything? What's the X next to the clear? What's that say? Yeah, just X that out. And I think you'll still have your mark. It's not on page one. And our mark is not on page two. Oh. Yeah. See if our mark is on page three here. Galen, did you make the 25K or did you give up? Oh, you're talking about for ACR. Uh, yeah, I I quit fine. I haven't logged into ACR since uh, last week sometime. I had a decent run in the squeeze last night. I finished 30th. That's not too shabby. 30th. Yeah, that's congrats. pretty good. I was third. Got aces in versus sixes for heaps. And uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, he flopped a set. How much did you win that, Ken? 115. Yeah, not too shabby. That's okay. Yeah. Not too shabby. 15, yeah. 130, I forget. ACR, I, I, it still bugs me like three hours of late yeah, red. Late. Well, that was a, that's a two day, Joe. So it's three and a half hours or four and a half hours day one, and then you play day two. You're in the money after about an hour and a half. Oh, okay. Okay. So multi way pot checks to us on the button, and we see bet or we bet. This guy was the initial aggressor. We flatted with ace nine. And they all fold. All right. Pocket threes, we open and they fold. Okay. These three, we open, get three bets, and we give up. This is the micro three bets. Yeah, is this a defend? Ace three of spades. 
it might be the bottom of range. I mean, some something in that area might also be in the four bet block. Yeah, if I was deeper, I might four bet bluff the guy, but I, I don't. I don't hate the fold there, honestly. Because you got to go like uh, you're out of position, so you got to make it like fifteen. So if you're gonna make it fifteen, I think you got to probably go all in. Jeez. <clears throat> Three. What's the effective stack size there? 40? A little less. All right. Uh, he is going to be less. He is, yeah, 40. Oh, yeah, 40. All right, and you are? 50. Hijack. Hijack. First is cut off. Cut off. All right, so for first is three. I'm running it on... Um, Preflop Academy. Either way, we face another micro three bets with our ace Eight. three. Ace three suited mixes all in and calls and folds. Yeah, I thought that's why I figured it. I figured it'd be either all in or fold mostly. Well, so, actually, it's mostly call. If you were deeper, uh, it, you could find some three bet not all ins, right? But they're, they're all zero EV. 18% shove, 18% fold, 64% call. So like 50, you could probably find uh, not all in three bets. So uh, three bet pot and the flop goes check, check. Thank you. What do we like? Stab. To yeah, baby, baby. Give it a big pro, a little probe bet. I don't you have like no it. draws. You just have two overs. Good showdown. I would just check again. Check or bet larger. I would have to check. Okay. So I think probably my thinking at the time was the queen of spades blocks his suited combos that contain the jack. So I think it's probably why I bet here. He calls. And the king. And check, check, and sure enough, we see a screen. Micro three bets. That's the yeah. new meta. Yeah, well, we've seen it three or four times in this tournament, and I don't react very well to it. I tend to overfold here. Well, I use when, them quite a bit. When stacks get below 50, I usually use the micro three bets, too. But that was micro, micro, micro. Do you yeah. use it that small? Or do you just go, go 5.5 or something like that? I usually go 5.5. Sometimes I have 5, yeah. but most of the time I'm 5.5, 5.7 sometimes. That was like 4.2 or something. Uh, we were looking at oh, final table. Like, it's, a, it's a 2x in final tables on one of the tools we use. Hmm. Which I have to learn. Right. What about There's... this spot? So this was what was pretty flop again. So this we raise it up to E flats. Yeah. We get a queen high flop that checks through. The flush completes. And we check again. And he bets. Half pot. It's big enough to make me fold. So we're ahead of all single club bluffs, probably. It depends if how sticky you want to get. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm surprised. I kind of oh, called her. Yeah, I don't hate a call, honestly. I mean, I'm not calling any rivers. Oh, it got there. You think he should go for it on this river? No, no, Probably not not. not with a four oh, flush. No. Oh, he has a straight. Yeah, he has a straight. Okay, so he just checks his straight and he wins the pot. Oh, okay, and then, he, and then he laughs because he scammed you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we raise, get three bet, we fold. 
No se ve Kings. Miss King, Miss King. Every hand going to church. Check our East King. And it gets checked through. And nine, five, six, double flush draw. I think I would probably bet here if I had the King of Spades and the Ace of Hearts, double blocking. But we take the check line, Pretty and good. he gives us a big fat net. I think we could pull there. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Probably did. Is that Galen right. approved pulled? Yeah, I think so. I defend that. Uh, seven deuce. Okay, blind multi way defense. That's a, I would pull there. After there's yeah. a, after there's an intervening caller, the big blind range does get smaller. Yeah. Check. It gets checked through. Connectedness improves. That is bad. And he stabs and we give up. Okay. Another micro three bet from out of position. Could continue. That is fishy. This stack is good, I think. It's not fishy. He comes no. out with a pretty big bet size for his stack. We make maybe a very fishy call here. A three bet pot. It's close. I could see the call, but it's close. Jack's not, not, that, not that sure what to think. I don't know. Sure. And he jammed. Wow. He pulled. The problem, like when we get in those three bad pops, it's tough. What uh, did you reserve said for the at the flop? Let's take peek, see if we can find that one. King Jack of Spades. So the three bet um, size pre flop out of position. What was it? It was four and change. Five point four. And you think that's good? At this deck size, yeah, it's only 20. Um, so, I, don't make, I mean, I'm not saying it's not, but I just that's a new yeah, way of thinking. Well, I mean. well, we do block some of his value range with the King Jack. Um, look here, if not, we'll find it in the filter. Are you asking if the sizing is good, or are you asking yeah. if the call is good? Sizing. No, I'm if the sizing is good. I think so. he's, he's out of position, so it goes a little bit up. And I think six, maybe, but 5.8. I think it's right. decent. If he goes seven... He's, uh, he's right there. Uh, it's the fifth one. Oh. I think you have King Jack suited in this one. There we go. I think that's easy call for Pete. So... Uh, it is a 100% call pre-flop and the bet on the flop and it is a 96% call and never folding is primarily a check and the river is highly it, mixed indifferent Zero EV decision either way. <coughs> I think population you can lean towards folding more. Yeah, maybe. I agree. What if I star this? Maybe it'll keep the star mark. So we make the lay down on the river and continue on in the turn. Fortunately, we pick up aces. Decent hand. Stuff them, get some chips. What was the action there on the aces? Uh, oh, yeah. cut, button open. And we just three bet. Is there ever any calls there? 
We only have I 14 think, bigs. I know. I th with that short, I think sometimes aces call. I don't know about small blind, though. Yeah. I don't know that aces want to play multi-way, though. Right? Right oh, now, man. we can take down one, two, three, four big blinds and change our stack from 14 to 18, which is pretty good. And, I mean, uh, it's still getting called a lot. I think if you call their um, small blind, it's a mistake versus two players. Yeah. I think it's... Raises every the only, the only thing. Yeah. Who opened the button? Uh, we open on the cutoff. The button open on the aces hand. We have 14 bigs. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I make mistakes there sometimes, but I uh, I do call there sometimes at 14 just because, I don't know. I'm so shallow, I don't really care. I, I want somebody in the pot to go right. all in with me. Yeah, one, but not two. Not two. No, 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 no. If there, if there's ever two, I, I'm sorry, I missed that. Was that a squeeze spot or just a heads up pot? On the small blind uh, hey, versus it was a, open. It was a heads up pot. Okay. No, it was, uh, well, I mean, it's going to be high probability that you know the big blind's coming along for the party, right? So yes. I, I understand the logic, but I don't think I care at 14 big blinds. Right. So I don't know if that. I don't know if that's the right answer though. Facing the micro three bet again. World pocket sevens. Man, this is a miserable spot. Uh, I don't know. Just... Like, Covered. I think you, I, he's giving you the right price to uh, set mine, to be honest. Like, this, he's giving you such a good price. Yeah. We are. Uh, now, if you're calling. If you're calling just a set mine, it the math doesn't work. You're not getting quite good but enough. To call. Well, well, you're also in position. So it's like that's the other yeah. aspect of it. You're calling for yeah. position. Well, and I mean sevens have but, a reasonable chance of winning the hand. Like it's not right, easy to make a pair. Oh they no, do. I agree. But if you're calling just with the no set, no bet mentality, it's not deep enough. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I misspoke. I mean, I'm calling because I have position. And, um, you know. Yeah, I, uh, I make a mistake a lot of there. <laughs> Running ship EV preflop, uh, Joe. Huh? If you, if you look at this preflop, chip yeah, EV, it's, like it's, it's, it's probably going to tell you to jam sevens. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Jam or a uh, fold. Maybe not, though, because we're in position. I think it might, though. I don't know. So, again, a little nitty by nature. I keep I'm really struggling against these uh, micro three bets. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Pete, they're, they're hard to deal with. So, it's like. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, guess we got to win this hand somehow. So, you open, he jams, you call. Seems good. Nope. Oh, he, he opened jammed. jammed. He opened jammed. Oh, he jammed. He jammed, you jammed, close. jammed. That's okay, 11. I think. For, yeah, no, yeah, for eleven big blinds, I think that's perfect. Yep. Yeah, from the cutoff, it's probably it's probably fine. A little loose of him with sixes there, calling our jam, maybe. So thirteen earlier position now, so we just open the ace nine and get it through. Small blind that versus blind. We're definitely not jamming this. I like that name, Nitty by Nature. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a good uh, screen name. Ooh, we pick up a gutter and decide to bluff. And we get it through. I think this is good. When you pick up that little smidge of equity, I think a big bet's in order. East nine again. We just open and it gets through. Good. People not making our life very hard here. East queen stuff the turkey. Uh, yeah, you just put yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems good. Jacks. And raise it through. Mm -hmm. 
getting a lot of uh, unopposed stuff through here. So yeah, let's see if we nice. can do it with Ace Four. Oh. A little bit of Ace. resistance. All right, so. Yeah. Uh, All right. Do you, do you ever check here? I think you could check here sometimes. But betting's obviously not, betting small is not a wrong answer at all. Are you talking yes. about the flop or turn? Well, the flop. Flop. Yeah, I mean, I'm only. This is a two street hand at most. You're never going three yeah. streets with this. So it's like either going to be a bet check, bet line, or it's going to be like a check bet bet line. I think. Back to second so thoughts. Second off. against the big blind, I'm very inclined to bet this connected broadly yeah. heavy board. Yeah, yeah I, I think we're betting a lot. So, I am probably betting ninety-five percent of range here. Right. So, and not this disagree. Do you disagree? No, I cannot disagree. Sorry. Okay, good. Yeah, you cannot. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad bet at all. I just like, you know, if it's not a range bet spot, that would be a pretty good candidate to balance your check range with. Oh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah if, 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 if it was less connected. Now it's a little bit wet. Yeah, and that's fair. I may have discounted the connectivity of it. Yeah. Which would be good evidence for uh, keeping going, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. But I think Ace Broadway board were probably <clears throat> it's checking one percent. You're right. So it is a rangy spot, probably due to the connectivity, as you guys all pointed out. Yeah, and the the high Broadway values here, right? Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so high Broadways. But when it comes to the turn, it looks like it plays check, check, 94%. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you get called on this flop and you have this hand, I would be shocked to see it go. Oh, yeah. Maybe if, maybe if it was a blank two, like if you, it was like the two of spades, let's say, maybe you would uh, see some like double barreling to check the river stuff. Yeah. A two of flush draw completing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're just... look at us. You know, I don't hate this. Like, okay, so like for the same reason, I don't hate this because this hand is going to be hard to play versus a polar river bet. And this kind of gives you like an out, right? I do think your bet's a little small. Like if it was me, I would have gone closer to like half a pot, I think. Okay. Well, that, just that's why I think I would check it because if you are betting the turn, most of your bets are going to be a larger sizing, which then pushes this back more into a marginal made hand. When it does mm -hmm. bet the flop, when it does bet the turn, which is five percent of the time, it does use the four big blind size. Yeah, yeah, that seems. Yep, yeah, that seems like a good sizing. And like, uh, I mean, I don't know how hard it is to change that to a, let's say, a spade, perhaps something like that, um, just to see yeah. if it affects how we play this hand a little bit. I, I'd be curious, you know. Sure. Take a look. A leak in my game that I that I discovered when I was taking coaching was um, I leaned heavily on bet small flops, check check turns, and I would rely on bluff catching rivers, which is far less profitable than um, double barreling Pete, in a lot of instances. Pete, you're looking at the big blind range after we bet. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, turn. Is checked and it's our turn here. All right. So now we have no completion. Pushes our bet range up quite a bit, right? We see a lot of the 6.2 and 4. Point whatever. But with our small ace, it seems to be more range betty, right? Is that what we're seeing? Yeah. yeah. Every every ace is betting half pot pretty much across board. Right. So yeah, this makes yeah, this this is what I would have expected to see. Something similar to this. Yeah. And when the flush and, completes, it just goes much more cautious. Mm-hmm. And What's then it, what does our range look like when it, it is the two of diamonds? Well, we 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 uh, put the brakes on pretty hard with a lot of these uh, marginal 
Oh, I mean, it, so it pushes like these weak t single pairs to marginal made status. Like anything below a seven here, it's kind of the it's kind of the marker. So you see a lot of checking with a seven to ace deuce, which ace deuce is two pair, and then you see it on the offsuit branch as well. The betting frequencies I would guess are probably supported with a single diamond in a lot of these cases. Yeah, all the all the aces that are betting are a single diamond. All the suited stuff is checking now. That's not right. diamonds. Yeah. So. It, it, none of it's diamonds. It's all so you're just betting your best aces that are off suits, your single aces that have a diamond, and all these just want to check for the most part. Right. Because you know, if you get played back <laughs> if you get played back at, you're in a quite a miserable spot. And then you know, rivers you don't are gonna really be want to fold top pair here. Yeah, not it's at all. Things. It's a uh, managing SPR. But we push it through and it goes. Nice. Open King Jack, probably bottom of range. Get yeah, piled on. definitely is. Easy let go. Very nice. Next King Jack on the button. Suited, the suited <laughs> variety this time. Ooh, is this? You know, I kind of like uh, I kind of like just jamming here. Yeah. Make your life a little easier because, like, if villain two jams on you, like, it's a hard situation because I think you're supposed to call sometimes, but I don't yeah. know. Is this is this a raise call off? Yeah, that that's that's why I like jamming pre flop because I don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I like to jam. But we get it through. This guy with three big blinds gives it up. The the big blind should never be folding. I would say this. Um, I I would guess it's probably if it's if this is like really ICM rich, oh, it's yeah. probably a fold. If it yeah, if it's the bubble, he can try to fold his way in. Do you know what stage of the tournament you're at, Pete? It looks like two hundred and sixty thousand chips is the average stack. This is the dirty thirty. Is that what we're at? Yeah, this is the dirty thirty. Uh, this guy's I'll find that. I'll find that this guy's blind defense is players. low, right? He's only defending about one third of the blind. Small sample size, but this is one of the green bannered tournaments. So, so it should be similar to like the. I wonder it's if it's the, the same as the daily special ten. It's the no. It's a smaller field. It's only a hundred and fifty-five runners or something. Oh, yeah, no, what I'm saying is as far as the starting stack structure, it looks like all these green tournaments start with about 10K chips. They all start with 10K chips. Okay. So I, the fact that average stack was 360,000, you have to be very close to the final table here, I would think. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. This is close because his Man, shelf isn't uh, that big. If it's ICM, it's probably a fold. Man, I don't even know. Like, I, I don't know the answer here. Like, I think I would make a nitty fold here just because it, 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 I don't know. It's probably a call, but I like folding because. Let's look for Jack 10 starting at the end of the tournaments. It's Jack 10 of hearts. There it is. Right. Yeah, this would have to. Uh, I think you'd have to HRC this to get an accurate response. Raise all in. Um, and it folds. No, nothing. Anyone did anything wrong? Um, had a great morning experience Monday. Oh, um, we should have jammed. It's just the. Right, so it wants you to jam that pre, right? It makes your life a little yeah. easier. Yeah, that's our problem here. But it, we should have jammed it pre-flop. And it I won't. Can, I can rationalize that. That makes sense to me. It won't give us the answer because we're not supposed to be in that spot. Yeah. Okay, so this should have been a jam. Feels bad. Like, I mean, we can see here, there's, this is Jack-10. This oh, is the end of the tournament. So we've got to be final two tables here. I do see why though too, because even though we have a stack a little bit too large to where we might want to min raise, everybody else's stack is 
except for villain two, we want to yeah, shove like maybe, against. Maybe this is just a fold with this guy right behind us and this chip arrangement, probably final two tables. Either way, we get ourselves in trouble and then out of trouble. And we have chipped down seriously, but find an ace jack, get it through. And we shove ace nine, seems fine. Yep, I think it's okay. Now. East on the river, we were good all the way. Easy peasy. Another ace. Ooh. Ooh. Um, um, probably okay. I just get really nervous because you don't have any fold equity here. Ace nine suited. So this is ace 10 off. Are we shoving ace 10 off here? <sighs> Against, uh, against me first a, open, I, I, I think it's a fold to be honest. If it's like if your final two tables, I'm just letting go of these type of hands versus um aggression that's already been like you know, versus V pip right there. If I don't have any fold equity. Yeah, I don't think against I don't think against the daddy you get to play. This might be a mistake on my part. Oh boy, we got it. Oh well, it looks like we scammed someone. Oh, he scammed us and we rescammed him on the turn. The good old scam rescam. What did he have? So he had ace five. You were actually doing quite well here looking yeah. at it. So. Okay. And now he's got a competitive stack for the final table. Yeah. And we have jacks. This. And we get a gift. Oh, on. Sorry, Ace. Uh, we just turned the nuts. I just got turned. And now we have a big stack again. And we are going back to war. Three handed. This has got to be final table. You know, it'd be interesting to throw that uh, ace nine spot into an HRC simulator. Yeah, thinking back I, to that ace nine spot, like we've got to be at the final table with that ace nine. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, it's like, it's got to be so dang close, man. If you're actually at the final table, I, I don't even think it's that close. I think it's just like pretty clear fold then. Where is that ace nine? Ace nine right here. Interested to see if it uses the ICM uh, sims here. Yeah, wow. it might. Um, yeah, you have to use the MTT ICM. Yeah, it is approved. And if we study the spot, we'll see if it tells us if it uses the ICM model here. Because it is yeah. a final table. Yeah, um, the, the ICM model is important. And I think actually looking at what kind of structure it set it up with is also important if it gives you that information. It is chip EV. showing us chip EV, mm. and it is being very weird about how it does it. Yeah. So we got to go back to here. Chip EV, 10 big blinds. And we change this to ICM. And then it asks us to change the stack size. Oh, you could reduce the players down to how many there were at that time. Um, and you select two tables. Five of us. Two tables. This was a final table arrangement. And we were the button with 10 versus the cutoff who covered us. So like do, do yeah, the, or the one right below that too. No, the cut the cutoff opened and covered us. Yeah, so, and the one right below it, he covers us too. Yeah, this one. But there were other shorties. There was another shorty too. 
Uh, so maybe more of this arrangement. So yeah, Ace-9 still in there earning 0 0.06 chips. So uh, yeah, well. Yeah. And an ICM five-handed with the average stack of 15 with us having 10 and being covered by the guy who opened. It is shoving all the suited aces, but look how low equity it is. Uh, it's shoving the ace nine and the ace ten. This is the I, this is the jack uh, range. Oh. Uh, is this a scenario where you phrases. can generate some folds ever? And button. You... Yeah, ace nine goes. Thanks. Oh, it's like the floor. <laughs> yeah, it's like better. the floor in this in this arrangement. Yeah, yeah the see. um with IC even though Chippy V should never get much fold equity, I think with ICM it does get some fold equity. Well, you uh, identified the floor pretty well, Peter, because you were asking about ace 10 off. And if you take a look there, you know, that that's the interesting question, right? Ace nine suited, ace ten off. So yeah. um well, I, yeah. It's close, right? That's the synopsis. It's close. So, you know. So ace jack off, ace nine suited. Either way, uh, I take a very thin spot, but he was also ace five, right? So he was a little wide on his side too. Exactly. Yep. I would agree. Okay. Uh, we see bet and take it down three-handed. And King 10, this guy shoves. We are covering. Do we want to take this spot? This feels very flippy. Yeah, and if we lose, then we're not covering Bill and one anymore. Yeah, if we lose, we all become 17 bigs here. Yeah. Right? But we take the spot and we flop the king. And River the 10. Good game, Ace. So we take a 40 60 spot. So we're not in a great spot there. But so what happened up. here? Did, what happened? Did you open? Oh, you're three handed. This, yeah, this guy open ripped. <laughs> and we Ooh. are the big blind with King 10. Ooh. Probably okay. Feels close, though, again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is the king ten hand here, I think. Uh, and free flop. It is just a hundred percent call. Nice. One point seven nine. Well, it's so, probably doing it in chip EB. Yeah, we can change that arrangement. ICM. Three players. Players. And he shoved for seven. And so we'll do he is the button at five, ten, and twenty. So that will equal arrangement we have. And yeah, King Nine is oh, he is all in. Holds and it's on us. And we are clearly calling King Nine. We're calling all our suited kings. Why? Well, nice. This is this is for five. It was seven, but I think it's like all. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but he had he had seven. We had twenty three. So this is five, ten, twenty. So King Nine is definitely going to find itself in. Yeah, there. it it'll be. Even if you move it up to seven, the king nine won't drop out when it's that wide. Yeah, right. Like it's seven to twenty-four versus five to twenty. So, and it, it's still, not a disaster if you uh, don't yeah. win there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is just a gambling spot. You you got to gamble, and this is clearly in the range where you want to gamble. All your kings and aces got to gamble, right? Because his range. When we take a look at his all-in range. Ooh, it's not good. Oh no, that's him. Button. 
So this is his range. He's shoving lots of aces, lots of kings, lots of suited stuff, lots of offsuit stuff that has high cards. So I guess king nine suited is just ahead of enough stuff to make it a call against the entirety of the range. This guy is going to find pocket twos to shove here and, and upwards. So, okay, we get there. Now we are heads up. And I will say this is probably the least practice spot that I have in my game. Anyone do uh, heads up uh, work ever? Nope. We've, I've, I've looked I, at some of the I play. I, like... I, I play a lot of single table uh, tournaments, so I I have a okay. lot of heads uh, up spot. All right, we'll let you guide us through this spot, Eric. What do you think of this uh, open? First of all, do you like this size or do you like a bigger size? Uh, I just mean raise uh, in, the, yeah. in the pot all, all the, the time. All of my races from the button heads up or min races. Okay. Get that one through. Do seven. Defend. Should I have given I, this up? I just I, uh, I never limp, so I just ray I I just raise all in. I just min raise or I fold. But uh, maybe now, maybe I maybe I should limp sometime, but I don't. Not in MTTs, you should have some limps too. Um, because you want to limp trap with some of your best stuff. I do fold some of my very worst. I would have found a fold with this one. Yeah, I would have folded too. You take a stab because we have a heart. Go through. Mm -hmm. Give it a min raise. Our worst king. Calls. Connected flop. We have a heart, so I'm probably going to stab. Seem reasonable. That would, that would lead me to check more than stab, but maybe I'm playing it backwards. Okay. I checked here. I didn't expect myself to check. All right. Turn yeah, he doesn't have any aces, right? Check, and we bet big. Not well, many, big, right? 1.4. He calls and are we done? He yep. yeah. gives us a big bet on the river. So we let it go. Seven four. We limp, bottom of range. <clears throat> Flop three straight, nothing going for us. We check. He checks, 10 comes out. He checks. We give it a stab. Get it through. Yep. Oh, and he lays. Six. We raise. He stuffs. All right. I'm folding. Folding. I think it's a pretty. I think it's a pretty clear fold. Folding. All right. So one all in. We got a couple of folds. And also, this is the first time he ripped on your min race. Yep. I think I fold it. Okay. We fold. We'll never know. Especially when I get them into like down near 10 big blinds. I don't want to accidentally give them a whole bunch of extra chips. I want to keep them where I want to keep them where they're handicapped by their stack. Okay. So I have been doing a lot of limping with the trash side, kind of hoping to induce, but we just keep getting some trash stuff. Well, he's I letting that, he's letting you limp with your trash so you can keep limping with your trash. <laughs> so let's take a look here quickly. If I think typically or, this offsuit trash stuff, actually, you're supposed to raise a lot of it. And the stuff so, that you're looking to take post flop is the suited stuff. So this guy um, seems to play pretty poorly against some aggression. He's folded 14 out of 17 times to three bets. 
rebounding only 6% of the time himself. He pipping 23, raising 15. Now, not a great sample size, but, um, but overfolding to see that's a little maybe. Way over four to see about 60%, right? Well, I, had, I mean, some of this is yeah. heads up, so it's hard to know. Only 130 hands, so. So if he's overfolding to see bets on the flop, do you think it'd be safe to say he's probably overfolding to min raises pre flop? Possibly, but I'm certainly limping a lot of trash and see betting a lot of one big blind here. I think it's the opposite, Gail. I think he's defending uh, like everything and then just folding because he has such a wide, shitty range. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe he's just loose passive. He gives us a raise here, but we have a suited hand. You want to take this post flop for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Welcome to NBA Jam. Yeah, you're probably just going to. Jamistan. Uh... Yeah. F Jamistan. <laughs> Jamistan. Get uh, you know, I don't even know if you need a jam necessarily. Like, you can probably, like. Click it. I, I, yeah, maybe you could click it. I don't think jamming's oh, oh. bad, to be honest. It's probably fine. So my only oh. thing about calling is we have queen high right now. And, you know, we benefit greatly from some kind of um, some full oh, equity. Yeah. yeah. So if we think he's loose passive, he's probably got something he likes here. So I give him the min click. I don't hate this. And then we get yeah. this. This so is now out of the Louis Louis yeah. playbook. Yeah, you're just you're you're going for it now. You're just going for it. He's got yeah, worse flush draws here. He's like got straight draws you here. You fold? Oh no! no. Uh oh no 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 I think oh, it, you uh, you have to call there. You if have the ace. Fold, but, raise. You have the ace. You have the ace, but uh, you you have to stay in the hand. I can tell you this crazy, right now. Fold. Even if he's playing face up with an ace here in his hand, you, you still. Have probably have the the odds the pot odds price to call and if if he's doing this with a jack which he probably could be with being so short you even ha now have an over to click the jack. back click back uh one step i will say this click. um all right so what are your you're... odds your odds are you need 20 percent. no that's a small bet he he's uh, gotta yeah, go click it through if to you're the ever right folding he here a if hole. you're ever folding here, I I would just remove the click from your game completely and play jams. Yeah, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you if just if call. you fold to that on the flop, you should not uh, call ever uh, preflop. You just jam preflop. Yeah, I think the click becomes significantly worse if you find yourself over folding to, in some spots. So you need thirty percent equity. You have at least thirty six, right? So uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. So the way I should have played it is I probably just should have called here. You right. could have called or you could have jammed. Probably similar EV. What does it say on the what does the solver machine say? It just uh, says call. Queen four. Queen four. What does the solver say? Hey, how about that? We have a solver. <laughs> Pre flop call. On the floor. <laughs> we don't have the heads up. Uh, White right. wizards. That it doesn't I mean, matter too much. There's some matter. card removal, but I mean, if you got blind versus blind, it'll be close. It'll give you the the general gist, right? The, but you, the position would will, will be wrong. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't have the the heads up stuff so much. Um. No. But if go, you have you have five free. Uh, go, go to sob. I think you can change yeah, it to you, heads up. You can solve five uh, ends out of your uh, okay if, if you go to the hand you can go through uh, you get five freebies a day huh yeah yes five freebies a day like i said for uh say, heads up okay mtt oh. you change it I, to i thought you only got one okay uh, well, heads, on up heads up says sit and go no 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 oh, oh yeah, it's it's already heads showing you a heads up solution. Heads up, One person go. at a time, please. Thank you. Heads up, says sit and go. Okay. Then you go from there. Okay. It, it was already set for MTT heads up. 
yeah, but it didn't have the solution. Yeah, it doesn't uh, have a solution. Because heads up, sit and go is a little bit off because the heads up, sit and goes don't have the um, ante. Okay. Uh, fair. Uh, so stack distribution, where were we? We were... I think it was 25 to 14. 25, 28, 14. Oh, so two to one. Two to one's the important part. Whoops, uh, not 72 big lines. Uh, effective that stack 14. Quite aggressive. And so small blind range. So our queen four is a call. And his raise should have been bigger. Okay. Right when he raises this size. Well, no, you have us uh, as a raise. Sorry, we call, and his raise is small, and our queen four is in there. So we call, and the flop is. Ace. Ace Jack eight, Ace eight of diamonds. Ace eight of diamonds, Jack of spades. Reached your free day. Oh. 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 It, it won't let you solve it in the MTT. Heads up. Let's take a peek. Um, heads up. You have starter too, um, I guess. 14. I do. No, you got to pay for every individual slot. Or above line. the Balls. pro raises. Yeah. Do you have premium, Peter, or starter? Um, I paid. You have premium? I uh, paid seven hundred dollars for a year, or something like that. Six hundred dollars for a year. That's the that's premium. premium. Okay. So on this flop, uh, he bets one and a bit. Well, you check, right? No, is it a check bet? No, he's small. But yeah, we're the small blind, so he's the big blind. He acts first. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he bets, and it's on us, and it's mixing with queen four, but it's calling with queen four of diamonds. Oh, yeah, yeah never yeah, raising yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's a call. Okay. And it doesn't matter what the turn is because the money went all in. Well, we folded. Yeah, I think for your equity, you have to call. You can't have him. You can't do a click and have him jam. Never mind. Oh, good button that way. Sorry, Ken. No, it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't think he can fold, but I thought that's why we, what we were going to look at. As confident as Ken was earlier about whatever scenario, I'm equally as confident here. I think hey. folding would be insane. Yeah. But I've eaten my words before. So he limps and we jam king three. Spicy. You are, you are starting to be mad or what? <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to be bad. Time to and he calls it off. Oh, wow. You got called here. And we call, we find the king, and we find another king. And that's how we win the tournament. We obviously suck out on a guy who woke up with ace 10. GG. GG. Okay. GG, one more hand. thanks a lot for sharing the hands and everything. We got yeah, one more hand. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody.